Hello, this is question number 45 on Walker Physics 4th Edition, Chapter 6, uh, End of Chapter Problems. Two blocks are connected by a string. The smooth inclined surface makes an angle of 35 with the horizontal. The block is on the incline has a mass of 5.7 kilograms. The mass of the hanging block is 3.2 kilograms. Find the direction and the magnitude of the hanging block's acceleration. Okay, so, hmm. So we know what M is. M is 3.2 kilograms. And then we want to know, is, the, is that block going up or down? And how fast is it accelerating? All right, so I need to find this, okay? And I need to find this. So let's find out what this mass times, uh, mass times gravity is. So this is its weight going down. So I'm going to multiply that by 9.81. That's gravity times 3.2. So I have that as... This is 31.392 newtons. I'll do all the um, rounding at the end. Okay, so we want to do this one. This is going to go straight down. This is mg. But since this is on an incline, I'm going to break this into two components. I'm going to do uh, this one that acts down into the plane, and then one that is parallel to the slope. Okay, so this one is going to be the cosine. So this, if this is 35 degrees, this is also going to be 35 degrees. And using just some basic trigonometry, we'll see that the opposite of this is mg times the sine of 35 degrees. And this is mg times the cosine of 35 degrees. And we need to know what mg is. So mg is 5.7 times 9.81. And we have mg as 55.917. Okay. Well, there's two forces here. There's one going up supplied by the ramp. The ramp is pushing back into the block, and the block is pushing with the cosine. So these two are going to cancel each other. So this and this is gone. The only force that's actually doing something to this block is making it go down the hill, and that is mg times the sine of 35. So this is 55.917 times the sine of 35 degrees. So 35 sine times 55.917. All right, so the force going down, F equals 32.07. Let's try it. Okay, so we have 32.07 going down, and we have 31.392 going down. So as I, as I fig figure this out, this is exerting this much as tension, okay? So this T, the tension in that rope, is going to be the same because it's, it's at the moment not moving. So this is 31.392. Okay. That means that going up is equal to 31.392 newtons. Okay, so that's going up. 31.392 newtons. Okay. Um, we're going to see... Ah, this is going to be more. I'm sorry. Let's save this for the end. This is going to be going down, and this is going to still be going up. See, this is almost like there's no pulley there. This is pulling in this direction. So this there's a tug on this big block from the little block equal to its weight. Okay, The weight of that little block is tugging up the hill, 
and then the weight of the big block is pulling, or at least the sign part is pulling down the hill, and they're going to fight and cancel. Okay, so we're going to have 32.07 minus 31.392, okay, and we're going to have a we're going to have a net force acting up, all right? So A is the direction is upwards, okay? So we know that. And the um, force, the net force is going to be 0.681 meters per second squared. That's the, um, that's the force. That's the newtons. I'll put newtons there, 0.681 newtons. So to find acceleration, we do F equals MA, and the force is equal to 0.681. Now, here's the part everybody will miss, okay? Maybe you won't, maybe you're awesome, okay? Probably you are, but we're not just talking about this block. They're connected together. So the acceleration of this block is also going to be the acceleration of this block. This block is moving down, this is moving up. So these blocks are connected together and are considered one mass because the acceleration is for both of this. The system is accelerating. So I need to add those together. Okay, so I have 3.2 plus 5.7. And so M is going to be 8.9 kilograms. A divide by 8.9, so 0.681 divided by 8.9, and I get an acceleration, A equals 0 0.07, um, 65, and so I probably want two significant digits, two significant digits, so I would say 0 0.07, in this case 7, depends. Um, when something is 6.5, it always makes me a little scared because it, it means that it's very possible I should have rounded before. I always round at the end. It bites me sometimes. Most of the time it doesn't. It's possible that this would be 0 0.076, but... I would probably put my money on this, and this is going to be meters per second squared. Hope that helps.